Coming up, how to protect your user with the new Microsoft Honor DMARC policy. Today, we are going to talk about newly launched Honor DMARC policy, what it is, how you can apply, and where you will find all these settings so you can protect your end users with the spam and phishing attack. So now, where you are going to see this policy if it is apply? You need to come to the security.microsoft.com where uh, in this portal you need to click on the policy and rules and then you need to go to the threat policy and anti-phishing. Under that, uh, in this portal, you need to click on the Office 365 anti-phish default and then you need to go down and here edit and you will see here that message uh, this honor demark record policy when the message is detected as a spoof so if the spoofing is happen against your domain and you are getting any spam phishing email then you can see if the message message is detected as a spoof and the demark policy is set as a p is equal to quarantine then the message should be go to the quarantine and or the move message to the recipient's junk folder this kind of uh, action you can take and then if the message is rejected uh, p is equal to reject if it is set by the sender then you can reject the message or the quarantine message uh, based on that and then there is a spoof detected uh, by spoof intelligence then also you can uh, quarantine the message or the move message to the recipient's uh, junk folder so this is how you can control your inbound emails if based on the whatever the demark policy set by the sender and uh, make a uh, or a give a better security to your end users and uh, also check your demark policy if it is set properly and uh, monitor there is a microsoft also set the or microsoft also recommend there are few service provider who uh, record uh, uh, analysis or the they, they we can redirect uh demark logs to these uh, these providers and they can uh, assess and anal and do analysis and provide a graphical representation of your demark uh, uh, logs and you can see what is happening how your outgoing emails and how many re rejecting emails and how much spoof is happening so these kind of things uh, you can utilize this is these are the paid services uh, third party paid services so you can leverage these things these are the microsoft recommended so you can find this document in the microsoft the email is genuine and it is rejecting due to the DKIM. you can whitelist you can add that uh, sender in the safe sender list and also you can add that user in uh, tenant allow and block list uh, then tenant allow and block list uh, and spoof sender under this and you can overwrite uh, the Microsoft verdict and you can still you can get that email in users inbox so this is the small demo 